Hello there my YouTube friends and fans and we're back in business with Rainbow Six Siege that is and it has been quite some time since you saw a Rainbow Six Siege video from me and it, that is because I never really bought the game and when I did post videos last it was actually alpha and beta footage and why did I not buy the game? Well, first of all, I was disappointed that there was no campaign and I thought $60 for just a multiplayer was too much. Secondly, I just didn't think there was enough maps, even though the maps are beautiful and all. I just was kind of disappointed in the amount of maps and I knew they're going to be DLCs, but I was saying to start off with a game that is $60 and then have like six, seven maps, that's just not enough for me or eight maps. I don't even know how many there are. And it looks like you, I can't get out of the plane here. This is the very first time I'm playing this map. This map was not in the alpha or beta and I'm locking this guy out. He's not going to like me now. Uh, he's gonna destroy my barricade in a moment and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to close this But I'm gonna do it anyway. I really don't know this map So I'm just gonna in I'm just enjoying the moment. I'm actually just casually playing this. I'm not taking this very seriously I'm just gonna enjoy playing this map for the first time in my life and you know kind of getting back into this game but uh, well, back, going back to why I didn't buy this game is another reason is that I just um, was disappointed overall in, you know, the, the lack of different, um, you know, multiplayer modes, even though I heard there are more now or actually noticed there are more. Um, just that there was not a lot of variation in all and what I also didn't like is I always thought the weapons the guns were swaying too much and maybe that's super realistic you know I've never had a gun in my hands in my life so I don't really know how a real gun feels and it's supposed to handle and uh, you know you can correct me if you know about that but I just feel like the sway of the guns here is so annoying I just I find it very very hard to kind you know, when you come off like a game like Battlefield and then play this, it's just super hard. Even Counter-Strike, which is considered a hard, really hard game, I find Counter-Strike easier. Um, I find the gun handling, like, I, I like it better than here. And I guess it's probably just personal preference. I'm pretty sure some people have absolutely no problem with the gun sway here. They just got used to it and some people have a, a lot of fun with this game but i'm really just curious you know if this game uh, was made available free now because there wasn't enough people playing it there was not enough full servers they wanted to get people back in the server oops i just i just shot one of mine it's really hard to see here what what are enemies and what are your own guys when you have to like react so fast but <laughs> I'm being bad. Well, anyway, I'm just having fun. But yeah, I am um, this is like, you know, I'm back and I actually have to say at first I was kind of like, Ugh, I don't know, I'm, I still don't like this game and I still don't want to buy it even though it's like half the price now. But, uh, you know, the more I played over this weekend, I got into the situation where I'm like, kind of, I have mixed, mixed feelings about this game. I somehow want to buy it and you know play more and somehow I'm like I still don't know if I want to spend $30 on something that maybe is very popular now because it's free and then you know soon people are not gonna buy it and then you end up with empty servers I don't know if there's enough people playing this really I'm, I'm really curious you know if you've played this in the last few months let me know you know are the servers full is it worth it to play you know to actually spend money on this uh, since there's no campaign but then, you know, I found something that's kind of a replacement in a way, maybe a little bit of a replacement for a campaign or the so-called situations, which are tutorials where you can actually uh, play uh, missions through missions all by yourself. So it's like a single player and there are actually a ton of fun. I had actually more fun with the situations than I had in any of the multiplayer matches. Unfortunately, I was so into those situations that I forgot to actually record them and I really should have because they were some actually amazing moments that I just couldn't believe and they're gone now. I'm the only one that's seen them and I would love to see them again. 
but I didn't record them. But I did get the last two ones and I will post them for sure. You should see them actually right after this video if you if you happen to be interested. And by the way, let me know if this is something that you enjoy. You know, if you would like to see more Rainbow Six videos from me, let me know and I actually may end up buying this game. Who knows? Right now I'm a little bit undecided still, but I uh, have to just take some more time and think about it. There's really no rush on this. I just kind of want to see what other people said during this free-to-play weekend, you know, how this game was received and stuff like that. So, and then just kind of decide if I'm going to get go for it or not. The one thing I really liked about the situa situations that you can play at those tutorial missions which don't even really feel like tutorial missions is that you actually get achievements for it. You get actually pretty decent achievements, different um, achievements for each uh, separate uh, mission and I think there are at least 10 of them so you get at least 10 or maybe 12 different achievements and that's really fun too and there's different difficulty levels so they have definitely a high replay value and me that that would be one reason for me to even maybe get this game so let me know if you enjoyed this I surely hope you did and I surely hope I see you next time when we play some more Rainbow Six take care and give me a thumbs up if you like this, please. Thanks, and see you next time. Bye-bye.